What's going down, guys? My name's Bob God Z, or some people like to call me Bobby, whichever fits your fancy. And I have a team death match on Rundown. So if you guys can remember to that, I think it was a Wasteland sniping game I posted a few weeks ago. Probably not the best showcase of sniping, and uh, really, yeah, I'm going to admit it, it wasn't that good. So what I wanted to do here was to redeem myself and see if I can convince you guys that uh, I know what I'm talking about. So as we start here, as you can see, I'm using the uh, Barrett 50 caliber. I'm also using FMJ with that. Uh, when I typically play with any sniper, I uh, tend to use the FMJ perk. I don't really need the ACOG, don't really need heartbeat sensors. To tell you the truth, heartbeat sensors for me are like, you know, it feels like cheating almost. It's just too easy sometimes. And it also distracts you, so I tend just to stay away from all that distraction and just go with simple, old school, just like Call of Duty, uh, Modern Warfare 1. And as my perks, I have Sleight of Hand Pro, Stopping Power, and I'm actually using Steady Aim. Uh, why I chose Steady Aim is uh, only on the basis that I chose to use the G18's Akimbo as my secondary weapon. Uh, you will see me, I think I'll pull them out sometime later in this video and you'll see me use them. For those who do not know, the G18's uh, very powerful, powerful uh, secondary machine pistols. And I have a Kimbo, so uh, for Steady Aim, as you can see there, that's what they look like. Uh, steady Aim simply allows me to make the crosshairs smaller, and that allows my uh, accuracy to be greater, and I kill people with more accuracy and faster. That's probably very important whenever you use any Akimbo weapons, especially machine pistols. You definitely want to be a little bit more cautious and um, aware that they have a little bit of kick. You get a little bit of recoil out of them, but... If you burst shot, you should be fine. And I think for the most part, that's the setup. Um, not really anything else important. I do have the frags and stuns times two. And I think that's it. So, rundown for me. I really have two ways of approaching this map. Uh, you can really just camp it up straight up in the buildings like I see a lot of people do. Um, when it comes down to team deathmatch, though, that probably won't get the job done. Uh, what will help is your kill streaks and also working with your kill streaks. So I'll try and explain that. As you see here, I'm building up my uh, personal kill streaks as we go, and I might as well tell you them before I go on. I'm using the Predator missile here, airstrike, and the Pavlo. And what I like to do with my kill streaks is. I don't simply let them run free, I simply work with them. Um, it's kind of a new idea I've been using lately and I find that my air support lasts longer and I'm also getting kills to help with it. So what I do is I simply set up my air support, I have the Harrier Airstrike and the Pavlo, and as soon as I get the Harrier Airstrike, hopefully I'll get the Pavlo right after. And what I do is I send them up at the same time and I spawn kill with them. Because most likely if you get a Pavlo and a Harry Airstrike, there's going to be some serious spawn killing going on. What I like to do is kind of defend them. Um, what tends to happen is people will begin shooting them down because they see two air supports. And they see the opportunity to shoot them down while they're both up. So I kind of work with them. I go towards their respawn point and see if I can do some damage myself. And um, why this is also useful is... Uh, you can also protect the uh, air support you have up by simply killing the people who are trying to shoot it down. If you see a guy with a stinger aiming up in the air, you kind of figure he's not looking up to Jesus. He's probably looking up to your air support trying to shoot it. So, um, working that way with your air support, probably the best way to go in terms of getting a lot of kills and uh, lasting longer in team deathmatch. Because you gotta remember, team deathmatch is all about kill death ratio. So at this point here, I am at the respawn point in a way. They're not directly on top of me, they're more to, I think they're a little bit below me. So at this point, once my air support is gone, um, now actually is it still up? Actually it is still up, it's still doing a little bit. So as I see my air support's beginning to fade away and really the main damage is done, 
I figure you can do two things. You can either get out of there and just run for the hills and uh, just see if you can get some more uh, kills before the game ends. Or you can just tough it out and see if you can stay towards the respawn point and get more kills. Um, either way, you won't have any more air support unless you try and kill yourself, which that's your personal decision if you want to work that way. Excuse me. But I chose to actually endure it and see if I could last longer in their uh, respawn point. I like the challenge and uh, for the most part, I'm not really going to be running around and trying to do quick scopes. I'm staying in a more uh, defensive located area. So in case someone catches me off surprise, I'll have some type of defense to work with. Uh, just not simply straight up in the middle, in the open, so I won't be screwed, basically. So, uh, I think... I think that would be it. Um, the only thing I would want to stress is, uh, on the basis of the uh, secondary weapon, which would be the G18s, you gotta understand they have a little bit of kick. And that's why I did choose to use steady aim. And there's always that little... I don't know that that voice in my head that's saying use ninja because you're afraid of heartbeat sensors especially in team deathmatch um, but I chose to take the risk here and just uh, simply use the steady aim because I want the accuracy with the secondary weapon and for me uh, sniper's best friend is a secondary weapon um, that's how I've played the game and so far um, it's definitely proved to be worthy that if I'm trying to use a shotgun as a secondary weapon, I won't last as long as if I use something like these. So as the game wraps up here and I get the final kill, um, I really just hope you guys enjoyed this. More of a improved commentary and gameplay, hopefully. So uh, once again, my name is Bob Godzi. Hope you guys all enjoyed. The final score here is 28 to 28-2, and I'll see you guys all in Modern Warfare 2.